Welcome back to the next episode of the SMB3 Warpless Seminar. Today's episode will be covering the end of World 2. We will be covering the airship with the boss, a couple of little bit of tech inside that, and a little bit of the overworld stuff. So, like always, let's jump right in. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the early hammer first, which I had already discussed in a previous video. I'd advise you to go check out that video. The link will be in the description below. The hammer brother above the pyramid, you want him to do a series of movements after you beat the first few levels in world two, you want him to move up, go across level four, go past the sun level and go across level three so that if you fight him, you can break the block and skip level three, the sun level, and level five or level four, depending on which one you were going to do. Now, with the early hammer, sometimes you need to die to make this work. And that's what makes the early hammer so crazy RNG dependent is it takes more spaces for him to walk than the amount of levels it takes to get to level three. Next thing I wanted to talk about is the boss pattern. In world two, if you beat the pyramid and you get a movement of one with the hammer brother, I'm gonna show you what the boss pattern looks like. It's very easy. If you get a movement of two, it's very similar as well. It's not much different. You just have to react a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna show you a more likely scenario, which is a movement of one. When we do the auto scroller in World 2, because it's an auto scroller, we can't really do it any faster. World 2's auto scroller is not difficult at all. It's it's again one of those just avoid all the shots. Don't lose your fire flower. That's the biggest thing. On top of that, I also want to show you the above screen wand grab. I've explained previously that grabbing the wand in the air is slower because the wand falls faster than Mario and the cutscene to trigger for you to talk to the king and have him thank you, that triggers once Mario goes off the screen. So if Mario is super high up on the screen, it's going to take longer for that cutscene to trigger. Regardless, the wand and or Mario has to fall to a certain spot on the screen. However, the wand falls faster. If I can get myself to jump into the wall and wall jump onto the roof while the Koopa Kid is spinning and I can jump from the top of the roof on the right side all the way over to the where the wand falls in the center of the screen, if I can do that before the wand comes on the screen, Mario will actually grab the wand off screen and it will eliminate that entire falling process. So when we put the two together, we can see which one's faster. I also want to shed light on the fact that whenever you do this off-screen wand grab, you're saving time in that world and in the next world. You're grabbing the wand faster, which means you'll split faster, which means you'll save whatever the amount of time is, and you're not falling as far, so the next world, you're going to save a little bit of time. Thank you all for watching episode 14. I hope you learned a lot, and if you guys like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up and tap that subscribe button to know when episode 15 comes out. We're going to be starting world 3 with world 3 level 1. Thanks guys. See ya.